reality television has been in a never-ending pit of recyclability. It is the same thing again and again, and it's been played out. Whatever show you click on, it's going to be a variation of something you've already seen. We've all seen The Bachelor with guys, girls, with whoever. You know, it's always the same thing. They're giving out the flowers slowly, Xing out people. We've seen people's lives unveiled. Now, whether that's like the Kardashians or someone else, it's only so real, and we all know that. Like, it's staged for drama. That's nothing new. And we have HGTV with uh, fantasy fulfillment, remodeling houses, and uh, finding new places. And, you know, I. I love those. Everyone, they're satisfying. They're, they are fantasy fulfillment. But I feel in the last five to ten years, we've hit a wall of just it, it being, it's, it's played its course and no one's really pushed that boundary. We're on Survivor. What season of Survivor are we on right now? Season, season 43 of Survivor. That's insane. How many seasons do you need? You know, it's the same thing. Someone's going to just skip to the end. The challenges aren't going to be that creative anymore. You're running out of material. Now, I say this with some hate and some love. Because reality television is never one of the first things I reach for. And that's, that's fine. It's not for everyone. But it can be a big comfort thing for a lot of people, myself included especially with like HGTV and like home renovation, things like that. There was, there was a time when I had watched things with my family. If anybody remembers like, like cooking shows, I, I love a good cooking show. And those are, those are semi-reality television too. Dinner Impossible, does anyone remember that? Or Restaurant Impossible? Those are some, some old school stuff, but I loved those. I would watch those weekly with my mom. Like we would sit down Wednesday nights, and we would pull up Restaurant Impossible, and I'd be enthralled. Also, I got to hang out with my mom every Wednesday, and that made me feel good. That was fun. I hope it was Wednesday if she sees this and knows it wasn't Wednesday. That's going to be embarrassing. It's, it's a genre where you don't necessarily have to be overly creative for a lot of things because it's reality. Whatever happens, happens. Until... Now, if you don't know, HBO Max has released a show called The Rehearsal, starring Nathan Fielder. And if you don't know who Nathan Fielder is, he had a show called Nathan For You, which was pretty good. It wasn't my favorite or anything. But The Rehearsal, it's, I, I struggled to begin where to describe The Rehearsal, because it's something so different and so original, yet it still stays in the reality TV space. And it is just a brilliant masterpiece. Just right out of the gate, I'm telling you, it's fantastic. Why is it fantastic? It's pushing away all the conceived notions that reality TV has. I feel like the best way for me to truly articulate why it's so great is to, to pitch it to you and give you a little synopsis. So to do that, I'll tell you about the first episode. So it opens with Nathan arriving at a man's house. This man had responded to a Craigslist ad that was posted by Nathan saying, submit your problems to be on a television show and we can try and help you. So the man submitted his problem, which was, I have been lying to my friends about my master's degree which I don't have, and I said I did. His friends have been sending him jobs, and he doesn't have a master's degree to accept them, but he's been keeping this lie up for 12 years, which is a, a really long time. And so Nathan arrives at his house and is like, hey, you know, they have some banter, they come over, they sit down, and he goes, so what's, what's the deal? The guy tells him, and he goes, okay, well, what if I told you I could help you? What if I told you we could... We could tell your friends without any variable of catastrophe 
any variable of uncertainty. And the guy's like, well, how would that be possible? And he goes, well, we would rehearse it. And you're like, okay, you know, so they're sitting there, you know, like doing mock interviews and things like that. But Nathan takes it 50 steps further and he goes, so to prove that this works, that rehearsing works, I'll, I'll tell you what I've done. I've rehearsed this conversation that we're having right now. And the guy's like, what do you, what do you mean? And he goes, so I had an actor study your video response. And now he has learned your mannerisms and kind of how you would respond. You remember when the gas company came over last week? And the guy's like, yeah, I, I remember. And he's like, well, that wasn't a gas company. That was a team of engineers that did a 3D scan of your house. And then it cuts to Nathan rehearsing with an actor in a fully scale replica of the man's apartment that he had built as a set in a warehouse. So he has the entire layout of this place. He is able to fully rehearse any scenario and he has made a flow chart for every possible response anything he could think to say and he has gone back and forth to find the most optimal thing optimal path of conversation you go okay that's insane and yes it is insane it's unhinged it's amazing i mean it, it yes it is crazy but it it sounds interesting you know, like if you had the ability to know how a conversation would turn out, wouldn't you take it? And so the show begins like that. And quickly, you, you have the one problem. And by the end of the episode, it has a resolution. I'm not I'm going to try and remain as spoiler free as possible. The first episode mainly focus on one friend who the guy is kind of worried about. And they rehearse, they send an actor in to interview her masquerading as someone else it gets that actor learns her mannerisms and how she'll respond so then they have an accurate representation of her then they choose a location they say oh well uh, i'll probably do it at trivia night at this bar they build a replica of the bar as a set in the warehouse and now they have an exact replica of that and so they're going in they they hire actors to fill the space as like background. So now they're moving around and it's like a real space. And slowly you're losing conception of what's real and what's not. And so is the actual guy. He's like, okay, uh, like because it all just kind of melds together. And it's so fascinating. But in the end, they have their resolution and then second episode starts. And the second episode sets the stage for a lot more to come in the series. The first episode is really good and it gives you an idea that they're going to continue with. But the second episode gives you like a the true narrative plot because the second episode will continue this this thread is something they keep pulling for the rest of the show and it is insane how it works out because it is genuinely concerning at some points because well, this is one of the spoilers, but they start to involve a, a child and the child isn't fully aware of, you know, what is acting and what isn't acting because he's like, I think six or eight, you know, he's, he's pretty young. He might be younger than that. I'm not sure. I don't remember, but it gets into some morally gray things. Sometimes it ends, you know, he's, masquerading as so many different things by the end and you know nathan nathan in the beginning is you know this kind of guardian angel this this entrepreneur who's helping people but as the show progresses he becomes part of the rehearsals and it it's it's crazy and you know some people are going to be like oh well it's written all reality television is written of course you know like, that's why it says writers at the end, okay? But to what degree? Who cares? It's still entertaining. And if you're gonna, you know, watch The Bachelor, why not this? I recommend this wholeheartedly, and I think everyone should give it a try. The second season has been greenlit, and I am insanely excited because I can't, I, how can you, 
where do you go? I just have questions and I know the, the questions will get answered. So please go to HBO Max or wherever it's streaming currently and watch the rehearsal starring Nathan Fielder. <laughs>